Hey guys, Gizmo here. Welcome to our second episode of Blood and Wine in Witcher 3. In the first episode, we ventured into the Toussaint and we had a bit of a fight up with a giant. So let's continue on the second one and see how it, how it works out. Right. How did the giant wind giant up here? This close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. Okay. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien de la Tour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Hey, our first trophy in blood and wine. Yes, let's have a look at our... I need to repair quite a bit of things here. Okay, let's have a look at what we have. Our trophies. So, here. And they are probably in here. Okay, so which one did we get? King of the Swine Herd Crown. Bonus to gold. That's the new one. Gold trophy. 5% bonus to experience. Bonus experience from monsters. So that's the same thing pretty much. Price is 250. So I might as well keep the one that we have. I'm happy with what we have at the moment. Hey! Greater red mutagen. Like off the bat straight away. Yes, please. Let's get our uh, alchemy. No, 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 no. Alchemy. No, I didn't mean that either. Painting formula and diagrams. If you want to see a list of components or ingredients required for a given formula or diagram, when you enter the shop panel, select it and pe perform the pin action. Okay. If you select the crafting diagram or alchemy formula and pin it, a list of components and ingredients needed to create that item will appear in a shop panel. This makes it easy to keep track of what still need to acquire. That's really good. Okay. Crafting. Only blacksmith can forge and weapons and only armor can craft armor. Look for the uh, icons on the map. Books and scrolls. Characters. Tutorials. Beastry. Meditation. Oh, they've changed that a little bit. Anyway, this is the one I was after. Attack power. And I want to change that. I want to add a greater one. There we go. This is the bad boy. Perfect. And I kind of realized I've wasted the button earlier. Uh, and the point earlier quite a bit. Should have put it all more into the magic. Pyromaniac. Okay. That's not even equipped and that's not even fully done. Alright, so empty one is oh no, three out of three. Three out of three. So why is certain now empty? Oh, these are equipped ones. Duh. Okay. That's not bad at all. So might as well start working our way towards this one then. Can I get this? It does damage. And at the moment this one is uh strikes all opponents in certain radius. 
Stamina regeneration is 1.1. There's no point for me to put into these ones, I think. So, uh, uh, glyphs, supercharged, shockwave. I know that they've, you can change your, um, oh, attack power. Why is that for, oh, because there's more, I suppose, and there's only 20 from one. So I know they changed the size, so I'm going to hold on to that point, actually. I'm not going to waste it up at the moment. There we go, what do we have here? I need I need a repair badly though. Oh. What about that sword that we got? Is that any better? Where is the new sword? Look, I need to sell all this. <laughs> I got so much stuff. So, holding X gives us a view of it, right? And C gives me stats with this silver sword. Okay. Okay. It's less, anyway. Look at the colors of these buildings. Locked. Look at the world. And the music is amazing. Just spend here and just stay here. Do I have to come with you guys? Can I just not go somewhere else? I suppose I could. The blood and wine you can undergo additional witch mutations to unlock new capabilities. Okay. Soon you will run into a messenger who will deliver a very interesting letter. Read it and investigate the story of Professor Moreau. To learn more about the mutations. Okay. They say a master craftsman lives in Toussaint who can craft which gear of an unequaled quality. What's more, you receive special bonuses for wearing all or part of the set of this extraordinary equipment. You will not regret investigating these new options. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I won't. Hello? Anyway, we should really head back and continue with our story. Let's have a look at the map. Blood and Wine Quest. Places where you can begin new quests from Blood and Wine are marked with icon. With an exclamation icon. The Beast of Descent. Right. Right. Is that... That's the highest I can... That's like size of Velen. Even more so. And okay, we need an armorer. Okay, so there's some there. There's some there. Brave kid, Guillaume. Farmer didn't oversaw his upbringing. Guillaume is his kid. Slow now. Whoa. Was, was somebody asking for help? Look at this. The land of the sand. Right, put your sword away. I'm just testing out all the ones because I haven't played in ages. Alright. Can't get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. We are knights errors, in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. Okay, good for you for tradition. I want to have a look around what's here. Brandy and bushes, my two true loves. Who are you? Okay. Work parches me horribly. 
Not much here. Good day. How goes it? I'm not gonna pick a fight with you guys, but look at that water. Look at that view. Cockatrice Sen. Okay. Who this? Wanted murders, Van der Gilders. Anton Starling's dragon, Lot Alice, Halfbreed, Philibet, Four Fingers, Von Witten. Okay. You seek someone. Beg your pardon? Oh, it's locked again. Oh. It just came out of that. What the oh. hell? I won't go. I simply won't do it. Oh. I'm Bard. I wonder if we're gonna meet Dandelion in here. No. Gotta be careful with all this stealing here because there's Right. Uh, normally, I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder, but alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? Your nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. Okay, up for some Gwent. Heard any rumors? First of all, let's see if he has oh, anything. Wait, stock. Basically, I want to get rid of some of my stuff. That's quite a, quite a, quite a bit of Gwent here. Coin and... I need to get rid of some of that. No, not quest items. Like, all this crap needs to go, really. Uh, no, what I want is get rid of some of these weapons. Can I not sell them? No! All right, they've limited these kind of stuff. Who you can sell? Well, I'm not selling these. Ah, he is. <laughs> not getting rid of that, and I'm not getting rid of Wolven Hour. Um, but, but he's not going to fetch me much coin for that, is it? No. Are you going to give me anything for these hides, for example? Yeah, bear hide. Get rid of that. I probably I'm gonna need them knowing how it is I'm gonna need them rotting flesh I'm gonna sell everything seashell junk yep and like all this crap valuable fossil junk actually these are like ingredients I might need is there like a way to sell all junk to begin with yeah Rose of Rem Remembrance. Talisman. I wonder if we do run into Gaunter Odim. I'm not gonna sell any of these. I mean, I, yeah, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Glamour. Can be sold a merchant dismantling the crafting with companions. companions. Uh, false teeth. Don't need that. Patched up vest. Gas I, ca I can't believe that you can still pick up caskets. All right, that's enough. Enough of this. Give us some rumors. Got any gossip? Fisherman talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a Nortling who would replace crayfish with pike. Asked a serious question. Hmm, and the tactless one. I do not if stroke on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. Well, you're not really friendly, so I'll catch you later, Thanks. bro. So long. Wine, Anything else? I don't want to really loot all this, but I'll take the books. You lads are all the same. What's this? Most normal Geralt. Oh yeah, that's my note. And I picked up some more. Oh, there's a notice board here. Train aisle closed for unauthorized visitors. Yes. Wanted white wolf. Well, we have that. Okay, I think this is our first. Ducal clerks looking for help. No, no, relax. 
No, I didn't want to meditate. Map. Didn't want that either. Oh. No. Just what was the... When one of your quests is updated, a notification will appear on the left side of the screen. If you are not currently tracking the updated quest, you can press V to start tracking it. Okay. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is... I'm thinking... Oh, yes. No. Anyway. This one. Quests. Right, so these are red, not red, these are all Toussaint ones. Black, pearl, multiple locations, but these are all... We're still gonna go to... No, we're not gonna go with that one. Uh, which one was the main one? Yeah, main quest. That's the one I want to go. Follow Milton. That's the one. Is that any Witcher contracts? Level 37. No. Treasure hunts. None. All completed. We failed few as well, but that's good. Alright, let's continue with Milton then. Knights for hire. And I still haven't fixed my n sword. Alright, wrong horse. Where's my horse? Did I leave? Roach! Nothing to see here. Move along. Off you go. There we go. Okay, what's Come happening on, here? No one here. They must have removed the body already. Let's look around. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Okay. Hobnailed boots. Multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Okay. Yes. Careful. These are new guys. Whoa, these are explosive guys, aren't they? explode and they do mad damage whoa Yeah, all these platters. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Okay, let's have a look what you guys could actually to offer for me. Rot themed. It's like updated their graphics or something. nets out of the water then cut the mutilated body free okay you wanna Gonna dive in make sure you didn't miss anything look at the rut guardsmen left this site by boat recently probably to transport the body somewhere okay Go, go. 
Anchor shift DLC. <laughs> Wooden spoon. Let's have a look what we have here. Guardsman. Can't just give up easily. Broken ore. Got a fish and a broken ore. Monogrammed DLC. A noble's accessory, clearly. Be nice to know where they took the corpse. DLC. Jokes on you, CD, Pro CD Project Red. What now? This isn't the site of the murder. We know that. Current brought the body here. Corpse got caught in the nets. Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat, and took it somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Okay, someone's watching us. Why are they watching Seems us? We've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. Check One this thing. out. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? He have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. Delacroix. Well, this Delacroix is awesome so far. Back to Tucson. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. What I want to check out is this hut here. There's nothing here, but I do... I can definitely... Oh, come on. Really? Locked completely? Yes. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Okay. Have finished examining the corpse. Be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her Grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Never in Pomrit's presence, however. He finds such a watering hole for uh, traders, uh, smugglers, uh, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint. What? With no lads brave enough? Of course we have. Bravery is not enough against Now. Oh. Ours. By my troth. Could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Perrin. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far-off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir de Peyrac Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. 
With whom do we have the pleasure? Well, Milton introduced me already, but now let's make a point of let them know who I am. Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir the Peyrak Paven. Spare us the petty Geralt. insults. Geralt is a master of the witchering trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask Geralt, please, or we shall be here till winter. <laughs> Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nest. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy... Hmm, well... What did you see? But be warned, if I hear the sky was red again, I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright, I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Okay. Where did they take the body? I need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corfo Bianco is Baron Russell's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, He'll set his house on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who, who was is that? that? Woman who just left. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Doubtless Linnis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable. It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vicofaro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. Right, always listen to the folk. So folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. Why, you insolent. Let him talk. The duchess traits in titles. Grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, Geralt. It's rehashed street preacher Codsworth. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. Okay. Let's see what else people say about. They say anything else about the beast, besides it being a messenger of the gods? The two Saint-Trois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Right. I think it's a good time for us to end the second episode at this point, and we will go in the next one. We will go and examine the body. Guys, thanks for watching, and thanks for joining me, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.